Hey guys, it's Ben here from the Strength Factory. I'm at my local woods and it's pouring with rain and I'm picking up other people's litter. What's going on? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. I'm teaming up with Trash Free Trails. So stay tuned to find out how I'm getting involved and why. So what is Trash Free Trails? Well, they're a not-for-profit company and the whole point is that they clean up our wild places through community activism, through get-togethers, through social media, through videos like this, hopefully, that all contribute to getting their message across that we all need to work together to, number one, prevent litter from being dropped in the beautiful places that we love to ride our bikes and walk and go with our families, but then also to help get together and work as a community to clean it up when other dickheads drop their stuff in the woods. Now, they came onto my radar earlier this year, early in 2020, and I had it in mind to do something with them. And guess what? Coronavirus screwed it all up. And I'm back about eight months, but here we are. And next week in November, I'm gonna start my partnership with Trash Tree Trails. And I'll tell you, I'll be completely clear exactly what that is. Every month, I'm gonna pay a proportion of what I earn to Trash Tree Trails. Simple as that. Now, it's not a load of money, but actually compared to what I earn, I'm not a rich man, I do all right. It's, it's a respectable amount of money, okay? Um, and I wanna pay that money to contribute to growing what I think is a really interesting and important organization. It's something that I care about as well. Now, you guys who, who well, not you guys, but the guys who know me will know that this is actually genuine for me. You know, they, many of my riding buddies will have seen me reach down to the floor and put a wrapper in my pocket that wasn't mine or something like that. You're in the woods, there's an energy gel wrapper. It annoys me. I pick it up and I take it home. I've done that for years. I think I've got those values from my mum. Okay, and I've done things like that all my life. Today then, I've come up to the woods in between, uh, in between the inbox and clients and I'm doing a bit of a litter sweep. Okay, this is the trails that I... I ride the most of the ones by my house. So I left the bike at home today, which is a bit weird. And, you know, I've been going about 20 minutes and I've already filled the carrier bag full. And I've got all the usual suspects. There's plastic, there's glass, there's broken glass, which is a nightmare for wildlife. Um, what else have we got? Foil wrappers, we've got tape, and yeah. And even those stupid little nitrous things that the kids like to suck on as well out of their balloons, okay? And to be honest, this is only taking 20 minutes to fill that bag, but on the whole, actually, I do feel quite lucky that my local woods are quite neat and tidy, and you do see other trail users, mountain bikers and dog walkers, and they do pick things up as well when other people drop them. So I feel lucky that I get to use this environment, but it's not perfect, but I'm gonna keep on working away at this over the winter months and beyond to keep on top of it and to look after my local woods here at Borton Coombe in Bristol. As I stand here and make this video and talk to you about all this good stuff I'm doing, I've also got in the back of my mind like the fact it's 2020 and social media and the internet is full of fake virtue signaling bullshit, okay, which I absolutely hate. And it actually made me think about just giving Trash Free Trails my money and picking up some litter and not doing this. But, <laughs> and then I thought, well, this isn't fake. This is something that I believe in. I care about the environment as a whole and I care about my local environment. And this is something that I have been doing anyway. I would always pick up litter on my rides. And so I decided that I am gonna make this video and I'm gonna try and spread the word about Trash Free Trails. I'm gonna try and spread the word about trying to look after our open and our green and wild spaces so that we can all enjoy them and so that my kids can enjoy them and your kids can enjoy them in the future because we've all got to do this together. I'm getting absolutely soaked here so I'm gonna carry on talking to you while we're back down the hill. So uh, I also want you to know that in 2021, I'm gonna be working towards making Strength Factory carbon neutral. And actually, you know, <laughs> It's going to take a bit of work and I'm probably going to have to pay some money to 
like a carbon offset company or fund. Uh, but on the whole, you know, it doesn't have a massive impact. I don't have physical goods that I sell or anything like that. And actually the main impact of Strength Factory is me driving my stinky diesel van, okay, which is 10 years old now. And it goes all right, but it could definitely be a bit cleaner and greener. And so I think doing my best in general through the winter to toughen up and cycle commute a bit more, but then also pay into like a carbon offset uh, fund basically to try and, you know, offset it, which is exactly what it's all about. And then, you know, you never know in the next year or two, maybe get a cleaner, greener van as well. And then the other main impact is actually similar to that. And it's, it's people driving to the gym, you know, to come and see me. Um, some of the guys cycle, but on the whole, with busy schedules and where the gym is, most of them, most of them have to drive. And so I'm gonna try and offset that as well. But that's another expense I can't afford at the moment, but it's on my mind and it's something that I'm working towards and I'm gonna keep you updated on in 2021. So how can you guys get involved then? Well, I guess the first one is yeah, obviously don't drop any litter at the trails, okay? Um, but, and you know what as well, I'm not gonna tell you how to raise your kids, but just try and instill it in the kids from a young age to, to do the right thing, you know, to, to not do that. And if they're with their mates up the trails or in the woods or, or even on the streets, just make sure they've got that, uh, that moral compass, you know, to do the right thing, to say, no, this isn't cool. We've got to look after these places. And if you're a, a youngster, patronizing, sorry. If you're a bit younger than me and you're uh, up the trails, you're digging trails or sending jumps and that's sick, but just look after them, all right? Stop leaving those uh, Lucas Aid and Monster bottles and cans up at the trails. The next thing you can do is this, yeah. DIY trail clean, okay? And so you can, and again, you can just do it and that's fine, it still counts. Uh, but you know, if you want to help spread the movement, then put it on social media, okay? Hashtag DIY trail clean, okay? And obviously on social media, give Trash Free Trails a follow. It's real simple, at Trash Free Trails. Try not to fall over. <laughs> um, yeah, where they've got loads of information there and obviously you can go to the website as well to really get involved um, as they go forward. And they have different campaigns and projects throughout the year, working with pro riders, with big brands. And they're all about just trying to make the world a little bit better for us all. And for me, that's a good thing. That's why I wanted to be involved. That's why I'm giving them some of my hard earned money every month for the foreseeable, hopefully forever. Hopefully next year I can afford to give them more than I do at the moment, okay? And in the meantime, I'm gonna keep on top of my local trails. I'm gonna take some responsibility for keeping it tidy. Um, and I'm gonna keep talking to you and going on to you about this on my social media over the coming weeks, months and years until we can make a real genuine difference to the state of the environment in the places where we go to ride our bikes. So yeah, thanks so much, bit different. If you like, I'll do some press ups on the end. Okay, in case you thought you came to the wrong place, make sure you know you give me a like and a subscribe, but do that for trash tree trails as well. And go and go and do something positive today because yeah, it feels good. Take it easy. Wait.